Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's having a pretty good day. Uh, this time change, I just am so over it. It's only four o'clock and seriously, I feel like it's like nine. Obviously it's not, but it's it feels pretty late. And my dog, I'm not even joking y'all. My dog is losing his mind with the cookies. It's ridiculous. Two o'clock in the afternoon it starts and it doesn't stop until he gets his cookies at six. Mm -hmm. Poor boy, poor boy. He thinks I'm being mean to him. It's, it's very kind of sad. So, um, I just have like a, a couple of messages, not so much downloads, just information messages. You know, um, the video that I made like late last night, um, you know, Rosemary's baby, uh, one of the reasons that they kept me around was something called energy harvesting. And basically, you know, um, I'm, I'm a positive light. I'm a, I'm a happy person. You know, I, I'm, I give lots of good energy to people and, and people, some people, especially people in the dark arts know how to take that energy and suck it from you and give it to themselves. And then they prosper off of you and your energy. And, and it leaves the person that has all that energy, it leaves them drained. And that's a lot of what happened over my life with my mother energy harvesting off of me, taking my energy and placing it in herself so that she could have all of the things that she wanted. So she could prosper. So she could have, so she could. So, you know, and my brother, I realized, um, I was thinking about it last night after I made that video, my brother was an energy harvester too. I would have never, in a million years thought that that my brother of all people would be involved in this but as i mentioned i don't think he's my true brother because i know that my little brother the one that i took care of when we were kids when we were really young i know he would have never done anything like that to me i don't know i'm sure of it but uh the reason i bring this up and the reason that i'm talking about this is because there's a uh, a little boy that is um, being energy harvested. Uh, this little boy is, um, he has gifts and he has a lot of light inside of him. And there are a couple of adults that are around him that are, are sucking his energy off of him. So he has like no you know, if he played in sports, he's not doing well in sports. You know, if he was a, a physical, active young man, he's not anymore. You know, he sits in his room and he doesn't do anything and he has headaches and he doesn't feel good. And because um, when you have people that are just like constantly pulling on your energy, constantly, 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 it starts to bring him down. It's bringing him down. It's bringing him down to a point where it's going gonna, it's gonna to get detrimental. So, um, not entire, I, I think it's involved with this group of people that are, you know, doing whatever they're doing to me. I believe it's in, involved with these group of people. Somebody needs to help that boy. Somebody needs to help him go online. Um, and, and look up, uh, energy harvesting spiritually spiritually any uh, energy harvesting it'll tell you some more information i'll give you some more info on it if you're interested in learning about it that is you know and uh so the people that you know tormented me with all of this gang stalking and thought i was going to lose my mind and go back to drugs and run back to my ex and you know god knows whatever it was that you know kill myself you know people actually have killed themselves over stuff like this you know being tormented like this you know in the beginning it was terrible for me <clears throat> it really was it was terrible but i realized what was happening and then i started getting closer to father god and then I, well Everybody knows what happened from there. Ta-da! Here I am. All shiny and stuff. Uh, 
but they're having a really hard time now because my ancestors are gang stalking them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, all of the things that I've been saying are going to happen are happening. And now all of my stalkers are, are starting to feel, you know, afraid and threatened and, you know, which, you know, is kind of how you make people feel when you stalk them. So, you know, tit for tat, I guess. Now you know how it feels. Maybe next time you'll rethink it. If you just, if somebody says, hey, you want to stalk someone? Maybe next time you'll rethink that. Say no. Just say no. Um, and, you know, the funny thing is, is that some of these people are doing it for like gift cards. Yeah, I'll, dude, sure. I'll help you stalk her. Okay, you're going to give me a $50 Kohl's card? Oh, cool, dude. Really? They're going to help ruin somebody's life or possibly cause somebody to to do, to do commit suicide over a $50 Kohl's card? Wow. How low can you go? Hmm. Doesn't say much about your character, does it? I think y'all need a little bit of a wake-up call. Start thinking about things a little bit differently. What if somebody did this to somebody in your family? Did you ever think of that? What if somebody did this to your daughter, your sister, your mom? Wouldn't be very good, would it? But they can't take the heat. So there are some of these people who are isolating, staying in their house. Don't want to go anywhere. Don't want to do anything. Oh, you know, when I said I, um, people are going to get in automobile accidents, there's one person in particular who's like, I'm not driving. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to drive. I'm just going to stay right here in my house. Well, let me tell you something, sister. God knows where you live. He doesn't need you to come out of your house. Neither do my ancestors. They'll still find a way. On the road or off the road, you can run, but you can't hide. You will face your karma. So, uh, I have a sister that's about to suffer some really severe public humiliation. Which is exactly what she was wanting for me. Tit for tat. What you throw out there, you get back. Make sense? I don't know what you guys were thinking. It's just really disheartening to know that my own family was doing this to me. Family that I haven't even been in, involved with for it's been like three years that I've known of all of you. And, and this, this, I would have been better off not knowing who the heck you were out of having you out of my life. But it, not like that mattered because you all knew about me and have been doing the stuff to me all this time. Shame on you. And my uh, youngest sister is apparently extremely jealous of my looks. Well, that just goes to show you how shallow some people can be. We really don't have a whole lot today. Um, so the other night, remember when I was talking about how I took Max out real late at night and, and he had to pee. Um, and I heard this noise and it was very it wasn't a good noise. I didn't like the noise. It, it wasn't, I wasn't afraid, but I didn't like what I heard. It was not a good sound. I know what it was. Somebody sent a banshee. A banshee, people. In case um, you don't know, that's like from Irish folklore, um, which my family, my, my grandfather's side of the family was extremely Irish. And remember I told you I had celtic ancestors well this banshee went back to whoever it was that sent it to me so you know there's that i have a recording of a sound of a banshee and i'm going to play it for you 
but I want to give everybody the option of clicking off before I do, because it's really not a very nice sound. And, and I don't know how you feel or what your religious beliefs are or what your beliefs are in general about hearing a sound like this. So if you don't want to hear it, I'm going to ask you to either go ahead and um, mute me or click off. Here is the sound that I heard the other night. exactly what I heard. You can imagine how unsettling that must have been. And it was right behind my house. Yeah, it was not. Uh, it was a yucky noise. I didn't like it. But uh, it went back to whoever it was that sent it to me. So basically, there's going to be a death in, in that household basically what that means. You know, I never in a million years would have thought that I would have found myself in a position like this. You know, I, I'm in fighting a spiritual war. And I mean, really, that's what I'm doing. This is a spiritual war. I've been under spiritual attack now for probably close to a year people having, you know, doing spells on me, you know, whether it be manifesting me into their lives or, you know, energy harvesting or whatever the case may be. This has been going on for a while, but the heaviest part of all of this has been going on for the, probably about the past six months. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I just really want this part of it to be done so that I can move on with my life. There are some, uh, I'm being told, and I'm not going into any detail because I'm just not, but I'm being told that there are some very big changes that are coming fairly soon. And um, it's going to kind of rock the world a little bit. So be prepared. And if you're watching these, you get a heads up. You get a heads up of what's coming. That's all I'm going to say <laughs> on that anyways. You know, I pretty much can have a lot to say about everything, but that I'm not going to say too much more about. Well, y'all, I really think, <clears throat> see, and they're still trying to shut me up. They, they just won't stop. I don't think I'm going to have much more to say tonight. I'm actually kind of tired and I'm, I'm going to go see if I can do something about this headache. Yeah. And I love you all very much. Please love each other and love yourselves. Okay. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>